I don't have a clue. All right, but it's got to be something to do with that government boy. We'll talk to him, find out what he knows. Fucking is. Where is she, Marston? Who? Who? My daughter, you fucking scum. Where's Bonnie? I don't know. I haven't seen her since after the fire. Why? Why? Because she hadn't been seen since yesterday afternoon. You know, I don't think I can cope. If I lose another child... Now, Drew, <laughs> nobody's lost anything yet. I'm sure she's fine. Oh, Mr. Marshall! Mr. Marshall! Come out, come out, wherever you are! Who the hell's that? Hey, buddy! <laughs> That'd be your next fucking mayor. Even better! Good day, Mr. McFarlane! Get down from that horse, boy, or I'll shoot. <laughs> I wouldn't recommend that, mister. Not if Drew McFarlane wants to see his bunny back in one piece. Hey, Mr. McFarlane! This is a nice girl you got there. Get down from there! You know, part of me's got to thinking I should just marry her myself. Give her a baby and that. What do you want? That's better. I want Norman Deke. I want him set free. Then you'll get your daughter back, mister. We don't do deals with outlaws, boy. Yeah, you do! Let's not waste each other's time pretending otherwise. Oh, government themselves ain't much more than a bunch of crooks. This is the land of opportunity, mister. And I'm giving you the opportunity to get your daughter back before 15 friends of mine take out all their anger and their loneliness on her. Where the hell is she? Where is she, boy? Bring Deke up to Tumbleweed in a couple hours. And don't get no funny ideas, or I will slit that horse throat myself! You boys have a pleasant afternoon. Yeah! What do we do? We do as he says. You and me, Marshal. Mr. McFarland, I'll get you your daughter back. I owe her that. Please do. I'll teach you some respect for the law. Hurry up, boy. Let's go. Quick as you can, deputy. Make sure he's tied on good. Stay with me, Marston. I won't let anything happen to her, sir. Yeah. Wow, Mr. Sure. McFarlane backed down hard. He was like, it's something to do with that government's See, boy. The and then this happens. In our Are you happy now? No, I ain't happy at all. And I already told you, I ain't with the government. Now you say that, John, but the only thing I know for sure is who sent you. They made me come here. They gave me no choice. That's your federal government, Mr. Johnson. They come down here dressed as cocky as the King of Diamonds, talking a lot of flannel about helping us, about spreading peace and civilization to the West, but they brought nothing but trouble and taxes. I agree with you. Wolves in cheap clothing, all of them, rob you and make you pay to have someone investigate the crime on your behalf. People around here have been fooled into feeling protected when they're worse off than they were before. The fellas I know don't care about people. All they care about is lying in their pockets. Look at the stars and the moon. Why is this That's sorry a... son of a bitch so important to them? Norman it's a good skybox. Williamson's right hand man. In other words, a glorified errand you boy. Wait, Marshal. I'll be back for you. Bill standards have slipped. We already filled you with lead once. You public That's bastard. the kind of man who's mean enough to be second in command, but too cowardly and stupid to ever be a leader. Don't ever use that line near your deputies. You know, for his sake, they'd best not have laid a finger on Miss McFarland. This this is deep guy. What is this place we're headed? He's Double just rambling in the back. Only God forsaken place. Some people say it's haunted. It was quite a town back in its day. Then they built the railroad to Armadillo and went clean past Tumbleweed. And that was that. Pretty soon everybody had up and left. Now it's just thieves, smugglers, and bandits. Scum like Deke here. Oh, popular spot for lynchings, too. Let's try to avoid that if we can, Marshal. Yes, let's not have anyone lynched yeah. today. I just hope you're not taking advantage of the McFarland, Marston. They saved my life. Gave me food and bed when they had no idea who I was. I owe them more than I can ever repay. That's just they've been through a lot. Well, they're both vulnerable, different ways. I wouldn't have been running in and out of a burning barn to save their horses otherwise. I know you helped, just like you helped me. 
But you got your reasons for doing it. It's no secret why I'm here, Marshal. I told you the very first time I walked into your office. I trust you. It's just all this business with Blackwater and Williamson in the past. I don't know. Sometimes it's hard not to have doubts. I understand. I never planned to be in the lawman business neither. I want to be a farmer. I even told them How to sell me cows. To turn out. Pending an outlaw to do the work of a lawman. That's madness. Ain't much difference between the two, as far as I can tell. There have to be rules, Marston. Even you must understand that. It's easy to make up rules, but they ain't much use if people don't understand why. Like my son. If I tell him not to do something, he'll do it anyway, just to spite me. If I punish him, he resents me for it. But if I show him why it's wrong, at least he has reason not to do it again. That's nonsense. Without laws, we're nothing more than animals. Just look at Deke here. Go to hell! Man has worked hard at civilization. Your boy steps out of line, you whack him. He does it again, whack him harder. You're a good man, Marshal. And I respect what you're trying to do. From what I've seen since I've arrived here, the law ain't really working. Criminals are like weeds, Marston. Quick as you stomp one out, another one sprouts up in its place. It's the nature of places. You know that as well as I do. Do I? Oh, down, yeah. ah, shut your mouth, Deke. Uh, parenting. I ain't had my turn. Oh, you shut your mouth or I'll shoot you myself. Stop spurring so hard, you son of a bitch! No, spurn harder. Come on, boys! Over the bridge! Tumbleweed's very far away. I wish there was a taxi here. Those all the deputies are freaking out. <laughs> here we are. <laughs> this. Here John, we go. You'll be exchanging the prisoner for Bonnie in the middle of town. Keep your eyes open. I sincerely doubt these scum plan to play fair. Fair my ass. You bet. Besides, Norm here is going to be my shield, ain't you, Norm? <laughs> It'd be my pleasure. John, you lead Deke into town. Make the exchange. Walk. Stay calm and start walking. You get yours, you son of a bitch! Just walk. I'm sure it's been nice for the boys to have a whore to play with. I hear be nice. those rancher girls like it in the rear. You Why be nice. Maybe she won't want to go home. She been fucked so good. What are you waiting for? Untie me, fillers! Wait, where's Bonnie, you bastards? <laughs> Trusting son of a bitch, ain't you? I guess it's too late to talk about things! All right. Of course they would shoot you. Ow. Oops, there's nothing there. I am moderately hurt. Bonnie, we're coming. Oh, fuck. I won't well. let you die, Bonnie. Get the hell out of here. You're going to be fine, Bonnie. Badass. Oh, ho, ho. ow. Oh, shit. I wasn't as badass as I thought. Uh, retry for checkpoint. Shit. Okay, the mission before I loaded the game up was called Lynching Barney McFarlane. Now it's called Hanging? Wait, 
Did you expect anything less, Sheriff? Alright, we go big now. Okay, so she's about to be hanged, like lynched there. So I will. Okay, manage to skip it. That's good. Touch her again and you're all dead. I'm not gonna Get away from her. I'm gonna run. Don't you lay a finger on her. Run, run, run. Come on, John. Okay, that's good, that's good. Let's do that. What do you think you play Yeah. Buddy, are you okay? I'm fine now, Mr. Marston. Thank you. Thank you. <coughs> what the hell took you so long, you stupid man? Well, you weren't exactly helping me. Whoa. If you think I'm gonna lower myself by making a joke about being all tied up, you got another thing coming. Come on. <coughs> yeah. I thought I, I thought they were gonna make me take her home, but now I get to loot all these bodies. Shit! I am. I'm, my good deeds, are, word of my good deed, is slowly spreading uh, throughout the countryside. Assisting town folk is a good way to further your renown. Hey, I am a good person. All right, this John Marston, superhero. my good deeds as I loot these bodies. So I still have something with Seth, which is crazy guy, and uh, Mr. Wes Dickens, which is a uh, scammer guy. So these guys, John, John really hangs around the worst kind of people. I wanted to be a farmer. Look at me here. Uh, here I am uh, with this, with this group of bandits. I've got a hundred bucks. Oh boy, a hundred dollars. How am I gonna? How am I even gonna spend a hundred whole dollars? So this chateau's abandoned. Um, right. Let's hit start. No, hit start. Go to the map. Map, map, map. Wow, we are far away from everything. Okay. We'll go to Nigel West Dickens first, and then afterwards we'll make our way to uh to that to that other guy. Come, come here, horse. Don't glitch out. Ride, horse. Come on. Ride. Come on. Ooh, that was that was intense, wasn't it? Out of the way, fools. Badass with a horse coming through. Got Tooth Ridge. We have traveled far. Very, very far. I assume like Bonnie's dad would like to say his his thanks to me. Unless he's gonna be like I knew you was nothing but trouble until when you came along. There we go. It's my horse. Uh, liars, cheats, and other proud Americans. Oh boy. 
the jo oh no is it oh, I, I see I see horses and carts is racing isn't it oh, Mr. Marston how are you sir I'm all right I met up with your friend Seth oh <laughs> Seth of the Dead. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Interesting fellow. <laughs> you don't meet many men these days with the moral fortitude to cut straight to the chase like that, do you? <laughs> Thankfully not, Mr. West Dickens. Yes, uh, contemporary society is remarkably harsh on professional exhumers. But did you know that in ancient Egypt, it was an art form valued more highly than literature? <laughs> I believe Seth comes from that school of thought. <laughs> How very interesting. Look. You thought any more about our plan? Ah, your plan, dear boy. Your plan. I am merely the help, not mercifully the arbiter of wisdom. What you are, dear boy, is the man whose life I've saved twice now. A man who sells lies and deceit to unwitting people. A man who, if he doesn't help me, I won't think twice about putting a bullet through his skull. Feeding to the vultures myself. Ah, uh, you see, Mr. Marston, you have the exterior of a violent man, but the soul of an angel, and that is what I think I cherish most about you. <laughs> That's what I thought. Uh, <clears throat> but before we can attend to your particular problems, uh, um, oh, we need some extra lubricant to oil the machinery of business. And uh, this being America, <clears throat> That lubricant with which we concern ourselves is money. Money? What are you talking about? Oh, we need weapons. Armor plate for the wagon. Extra hands. And I need some danger money. So let's sell some more of these cures. Sell cures? Around here? Do you want to see me lynched? <laughs> no, the sport of kings. Racing, my friend. The sport of kings. A noble activity without reproach. Exactly the kind of activity where a lying, cheating, degenerate like myself can prosper. <laughs> but come, let's finish the loading and we'll discuss it as we drive. <laughs> Now, sir, do yet to preach! Have you got more to say, really? Oh, good, thank you. Uh, yes, skip to destination. Let's get out of here. I don't- I don't want to travel. Uh, it's becoming the Ali Noir problem, is it? Isn't it? Every time you play Ali Noir, you get your partner to drive you instead of going there yourself. And why wouldn't you? Where are we now? No, oh, no, my horse! What's up, people? If this was actually cheating, I'd just shoot all these guys. Cool. You're right, horse. This is mine. Oh god, this is mine. I love it. Out of way, fools. Shooting other racers or spectators will cause you to be disqualified. Nice. In the lead. In the lead. Don't mug this up. I've got a racehorse, right? Can my racehorse drift? No, but you can turn really well. Also, my grip's falling off. My, my thumb's falling off the uh, of the analog stick. I need to readjust myself. Come here, horse. Do it. Do what you do best. Race. Ah! Uh. 
Oh my god. This horse is so squirrely. Horse! Oi! Is the horse squirrely or is it just being an ass? I'm gonna stick it being an ass. So what happens if I fall off the track? Like that. It's just like that. Uh. Oh my god, horse. Please stop. Please stop being an idiot. Good. Straight line. This will unlock horse races for money, right? Off-roading. Ow. S stay on the road, stay on the road. Make sure this horse is not being an asshole to me. Yeah! Victory of a horse racers. Hell of a race, mister! I'll take care of this cart for Mr. Wes Dickens. Sure. I suggest we beat a hasty retreat. Alrighty. Why are we running away? Best remove ourselves from the stage before somebody decides they want their money back. Bye by me. Wasn't that fantastic? The cheers of the crowd, the thunder of the wheels, the falling rocks, the homicidal maniac. Oh, come on, John. Even a cold-hearted misanthrope like you must have found that just the tiniest bit exhilarating. Not the friendliest bunch, are they? They take the racing very seriously in these parts. And your participation was not entirely pre-approved. That was clear. Ah, sport, war, and heartache. <laughs> the guilty pleasures of mankind since the dawn of time. I'd get away from the men we just swindled before you start waxing too lyrical. Yes, yes, of course. I reckon I have to start shooting people. Where are you taking me? <laughs> you idiot! That it? Well done, sir. Well done. Having you as a ringer has netted us a fine profit. <laughs> we seem to be wasting time, old man. Oh, patience, my friend. The Trojan horse cannot run before it can walk, if you'll forgive the metaphor. Next, we need to procure some grand and overwhelming firepower. And for that, you need to contact an old friend of mine. Goes by the name of Irish. Irish. Yes, uh, he's an interesting kind of fellow. Um, he usually can be found in uh, Armadillo or some other town around here on some Bacchanalian rebel or such. Uh, Great. An alcoholic arms dealer. What could be better? Nothing. Also, my hut is still showing how much bullets I have. 10 out of 90. Plenty. He only gave me $3? What an asshole. Alright, so I've got Irish, Seth, and Wes Dickens. Alright. Hang on. Tap. Where am I now? I Well, Wes Dickens is here. Irish is here. And S is here. I think we'll go to... Um... We shall go to the... We shall go to Mr. Irish. That sounds like a good plan. Right as passenger. You have destination or you just want to leave? Armadillo. Take me to Armadillo. You go to sleep. I won't have to listen to you. Wow, what an this oh, cab driver's an asshole. Good, you go to sleep or else I won't have so I won't have to listen to you. Well fuck you, I don't want to talk to you. What a little bitch. Look, I, st 
I think I said it already, but I really like the uh, six the, the six shooter loading screen. What if I just shoot him and get my money? Of course, that will make me wanted in the crowd and uh, unpopular. He's probably in the saloon, isn't he? No, he isn't. No, he isn't. Here he is. Where am I looking at now? Oh, come on. A Frenchman, a Welshman, and an Irishman. Yes, boy, oh, you missed a properly this time, didn't you? You little paddy bastard. You thieving mick cunt. You got it all wrong, Welsh. All wrong. It was French, I promise. He said he was going to rip you off. Now he's ripping me off. Yeah, keep on talking there, Irish. In about 15 more seconds, your whole world's going to turn black. <laughs> What's up, boys? <laughs> Fuck off, boy! This don't concerns you. When a man with a sing-song voice tells me to fuck off, it always concerns me, boyo. Look here, this petty bastard stole our guns, tried to steal our horses. Lost clear on the matter. I never stole nothing, sir. Never did. Not in all my life. That French cunt is playing with the Welshman's tiny and ineffective mind. Push your mind. <laughs> anyway, you all got horses now. No one needs to die. Leave him be. Who do you think you are, boy? Oh? The bloody cavalry? Your voice is really starting to get on my nerves, boy. Oh. And you're getting on my nerves. Yeah. You smell. Hello? Oh. That guy doesn't sound French anyway. Don't worry, old pal. Hell's better than Wales. Mr. Nigel West Dickens said you'd help me locate a machine gun. And since I just saved your life... Oh, I can't thank you enough for taking care of those two degenerates. Oh, untrustworthy, poor in personal hygiene, lacking in the finer qualities of a, a gentleman. <laughs> uh, what about the gun? It'll be my pleasure. Uh, she's magnificent government issue. It'll be a bit of a ride, but we'll get there soon enough. Uh, follow me, fella. Oh no, it'll be a bit of a ride, never starts, never, never like ends well, because it usually Let's takes forever. The saloon's calling me. Oh, for this God's sake. Just give me my machine gun already. What's your Where name, is it? friend? John! John Marston! Choke of luck, you came along, fella. I thought I'd drunk me last breakfast there for a second. <laughs> Who were those fine specimens of humanity? They was me only friends in the world. And boy, am I glad to see them bastards dead. We all met on the boat over a few years back, we did. Kick his thieves ever since, and that right there was the problem. Is it normal for friends in Europe to drown each other? Never trust a Welshman, me pa always told me. And he got his throat slit, so he should know. The kind of fellows who will steal an acorn from a blind sow and then kick her for squealing. And as for that French bastard... He didn't sound very French. Not for now. The Theban bastards are holed up at the cabin by the lake. Can't wait to see the look on their faces when we blast in there. They'll be more surprised than a slut dog with their first porcupine. You best not be lying to me. Listen, fella, I didn't ask for your help back there. I don't owe you nothing. I'll decide what you do and don't owe me. I've had enough of your overly aggressive manner, fella. You don't know who you're dealing with here. Irish, I've met enough men like you to last me a lifetime. Also, I, I was I was wondering why he didn't sound very French. Now we'll now we'll never know. That guy just popped into you can existence. Make work of those fellas if they give you trouble. The gun's stored just inside that chat. What about you helping me out? Uh, I'll cover you from the ridge. I'm better from long range. It'll be a piece of cake, fella. Trust me. Fine. All right, horse, you stay here. Welcome here, mister. What? You're a sorry bunch of wannabes! Reload. Come on, reload. Got them all. Easy. This is mighty generous of you, mister. And now to, to steal their money. 
There we go. More money. It's not that easy, is it? Ne nothing ever is. Hey. It's not here. That lion sack is shit. Of course it's not here. John, did you're you're a clever man. Did you expect anything less? But is there a chest here that I can loot? And then we'll go back and deal with that, that piece of shit. Interesting, there isn't. Fine. Um, can we just set up camp and leave? Can we just use their campfire? Whoop. Nope, we can't use the campfire. Okay, so I need to walk away. Away from this, this place. Hang on, is he really far away? Or else I'll just, I'll just walk to him. He is really far away, isn't he? Yeah, he is. Super far away. Well... Oh, God. Well, let's go deal with Seth, I guess.